Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be comparing Apache versus Nginx. So we are going to be answering that which web server is better along with the pros and cons of both of these servers. So let's get started with the first one which is Apache. So Apache is a web server that was released under the open source Apache 2.0 license. Similar to other web hosting solutions, Apache also hosts HTML pages, PHP files, audios and videos. Now if you were to simply go over some of the benefits of Apache, then first of all it is a complete solution. So since its inception, Apache has been offering a bundle of benefits that have made it a preferred web hosting solution for many IT organizations, IT teams and even IT firms. Number two, we have the capability of modification. So the open source model of Apache not only makes the platform free of cost, but also enables modification on the part of the community developers. So that is why you can find any type of module or model that you want on the community. And then number three is modularity. Now this Apache platform also offers a modular plugin system that makes it easy to add more and more and more functionalities to your server. After this, let's go over Nginx. Now Nginx is also a free and open source web server that is also designed to work as a reverse proxy, a load balancer and an HTTP cache. Now all of these three different modules, reverse proxy, load server and HTTP cache are included by default in Nginx. And just like Apache, Nginx is an open source platform but this application or Nginx is governed by a BSD license. Now if you were to go over the benefits of Nginx, then at number 1 we have configuration. The configuration of Nginx is relatively simpler than the configuration of Apache. And some of the functionality that need to be added in the Apache platform after its installation are built in into Nginx. And then we have open source and free. Nginx is an open source platform too that enables users to get started for absolutely nothing. And then we have the footprint. Nginx has a smaller overview resource footprint that makes it better than many other web servers. But now let's put Nginx versus Apache and see which one is better when we talk about the pros and cons. So let's get started with number one, we have performance. So it will not be wrong to say that Nginx performs better than Apache because we have already discovered that Nginx has a smaller resource footprint. Now Apache performs better when hosting a site that requires low level of traffic for example 100 or 1000 requests per hour but if that site is getting the traffic like 100,000 requests per an hour then Nginx is brilliant at that level of request. In terms of performance the clear winner we have Nginx. Now let's talk about static versus dynamic content. Now when static content is concerned, both Apache and Nginx take the same route to display the content on the web page. They simply take the data, display it to the user. When it comes to dynamic content, Apache interrupts dynamic content directly and delivers the content to the website visitor. Whereas Nginx has to rely on different programs like Fast CGI and WebSphere to deliver dynamic content to the visitor. So in this category, we can say that Nginx tends to perform better when dynamic content is concerned. But the configuration process of setting up an engine X for dynamic content is tougher than Apache. So we do not have a clear winner in this category. Now the next category is operating system support. Now Nginx's support for Windows is still in the beta stages. Now installing Nginx on Windows also requires some manual efforts as well. Whereas Apache offers full-fledged support to Windows, Linux and many other operating systems. So in terms of operating system support, it actually depends on which operating system that you want to run the web server on. So if the choice of operating system is Windows, then Apache is the clear winner for you. Next up we have security. Now there are a lot of things to be considered such as application, external interaction and host operating system when discussing the security of Apache and Nginx. And if you were to talk about security and choose a winner then that would require a complete overview of how strong Apache security is and how strong Nginx security is. So that is going to require a complete different video. However, we can still argue that Apache is better than Nginx in handling security related issues. So the clear winner in this category is Apache. Next up on the list, we have flexibility. Now when combined with modern deployment and management tools, both Apache and Nginx are extremely flexible to use. Still, Apache wins this game at this point with its simple loading and unloading of modules. So with modularity, you get more flexibility. It's that simple. Apart from this modularity, we must also consider that Nginx is brilliant at hosting sites that receive massive traffic and a lot of requests simultaneously. So still, we have to give this out to Apache. 
Next up on the list is actually modules. So Nginx's module system is more rigid than Apache. It has two types of modules, static and dynamic. You can download the static modules with any version of Nginx. With Apache, the modules are dynamic and flexible. So you do not have to worry about anything. And it is also worth noting that static modules are not very hard to work in Nginx. It is easy to replace an existing instance with a newer one. However, working with Nginx requires more effort than Apache modular system would. So in this category, the clear winner is actually Apache. Now the question is which one is overall better? To be honest, there is no single answer concluding that one is better than the other. But we can say that Apache performs better in respect of module, flexibility, security and operating system support. Whereas Nginx copes up with all of these lackings and excels at performance and displaying static and dynamic content. Well, if you want to deploy Nginx or Apache on the cloud platforms like AWS, Azure and Google Cloud, then simply make sure to check out the tutorials in our channel or visit the links in the description box for the pre-made images for all of these cloud platforms. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way or if you have gained any new information through this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.